<laughs> anyway, oh. <laughs> speaking of dogs, Taylor made a good point. Later today and in the next couple of days, because we're expecting a lot of heat, please be careful with your dog walk. You want to make sure that your pooch is protecting those toe beans. You don't want to walk on the hot asphalt or concrete sidewalks. If you can walk in uh, some cooler kinds of pavements or lack thereof, the grass, for instance, or maybe along the sand of the beach where things are a little bit cooler. Keep your pets, children, and the elderly in mind over the next couple of days. They are most susceptible to heat related illness, but we're only getting started today where temperatures are going to be on the up and up the next couple of days. And we're starting out with a beautiful sunrise from our camera in Kingsville off Highway 77 that points a bit northeast there. So we're getting a great view of the start of the day, and I think it'll be pretty nice here. We're generally looking at fair conditions as we start out this Wednesday and visibility. Not much of an issue, though we're dropping to about four miles of visibility in Rockport as well as Alice. But uh, calm conditions out there to blame for it. Shouldn't give you too much trouble out on the roadways, but not a bad idea to give yourself a little bit of extra time. We will see a little more movement in the air going through the afternoon. I think once again, a sea breeze will develop because of how quickly we heat up. We'll be in those middle 80s by the late morning to upper 80s and spending a good deal of the afternoon in the lower 90s. Topping out there. Again, thanks to that sea breeze kind of capping off our heating for the day, but that just means an onshore flow and we're going to top it out maybe 10 miles per hour. Still, today's going to be wonderful, topping out those lower 90s. Lots of sunshine that goes until 824 PM, but you still have to be careful for that feels like temperature. Once we factor in the humidity, it just feels very, very hot out there. We'll feel like the triple digits today, but as I mentioned, we're only getting started going to the next couple of days. Our actual air temperatures are going to be well above where they would typically be for this time of the year, and we're going to be seeing those upper 90s. This persists for a couple of days here, and it's still going to be humid, so we have to add that in there. It will feel like the middle hundreds to closer to 110 over the next couple of days. You want to make sure you're drinking plenty of water. And why is this happening? Well, we have high pressure above us. That is going to be edging into South Texas here, and with that in mind, that is going to keep the same kind of weather pattern in place at least through Monday of next week. Now, this isn't a particularly strong high pressure system, at least not yet, uh, but it is going to keep more of the same in the forecast over the next couple of days. So a couple tips to help you beat the heat. You may have already thought of these. You want to slow down, avoid strenuous activity and those adult beverages. Water is going to be your best bet there. You want to drink plenty of water, take frequent breaks inside and eat small meals more often. That'll help your body kind of process this. And as I mentioned, Check on children, pets, and the elderly. They need your support during this hot weather. And here we go, 97 tomorrow and Friday. Fun fact, that'll be the first time we hit 97 this year, though we have hit 99. That happened back in March, believe it or not. But uh, this humidity, that's a different story. Yeah, it's also a good time to check your AC and make sure oh, yeah. your cars, I mean, you know better than anyone. I know you just got your AC mm -hmm. fixed. And to use a visor, that yes, really that helps. helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I need to get a visor. <laughs> <laughs> good advice, get, get it done today. And drink plenty of water, please. Yes, yes. SPF, hat. Oh. You got All it. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us. Y'all have a great day.